Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Factorio Plus Plus episode, video, episode 10, and you can see the Cut Run Ferret Ore is being split into other ores. However, you can see the demand far outweighs the supply, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep building more and more of these. This will essentially, it looks like I'm going to build, um, I could probably get a full 16 going. On each side. That's really good. That's a, that's quite a lot. Sorry if this noise is loud. I'm guessing it's because it's a mod, so it's kind of unpolished um, versus vanilla. But yeah, this is now finished. So there's something I could try to do. There's this. Um, I can get. I don't know what massive iron chunks are, but I, I don't think that's important at this point. Because I don't, maybe actually, maybe this is something, a byproduct of this, of this machine. I don't see anything with massive chunks. I'm, okay, I'm, I'm, at this point, I don't think I need that. I think it'll be more useful to just get more, just try to get more researches. Like, um, let's see. What's a good research I can get? Maybe I can get something that just expands my inventory. There's there's this that expands my inventory, but there's also this, which, um, yeah, it, it also gives me more researches, re, or re, no, get more inventory space, and it only takes red science. So, yeah, well, I kind of want to save green science for when the green science research, researches are could become will become more useful. I want to get this. I probably want to just get one more belt. And place the inserters. I probably also want to get it like this. And the build is now complete. You can see I can I can now process a lot more. Or actually, I kind of I kind of want just a little bit more. If I the thing is, I just don't have enough materials to be able to get two more sorting machines. So yeah, I did um, build some more mining drills. In case I need to mine more of this, but it doesn't look like I need to mine more at this point. Because, you can see, even with this, it's um, still, yes, it's not quite enough. Okay, so I'm back to the main bus, and I noticed that um, right now the iron supply is now higher because of all the um, cut run ferret ore. The thing is that the gear, that means that it cannot keep up with the demand for gears, so... This means I will double production of iron gears. Pretty simple. It's just do the same thing as the last build I did. And you can see a lot of the builds do have a common theme with like essentially um, there's like either an input or output in the middle. And um, essentially you can place them. It's usually inputs on, on the sides and output in the middle, but uh, I don't know, the the ore splitting may be a little bit of a different process than normal. So hopefully, um, I'm not sure if this is going to keep up with supply, but that's probably fine. I may want to autom automate some other stuff at this point. Um, probably ammo, or I could go really far and try to get military science. So the thing is that with military science, that's that does take a while to get, and it's gonna be really hard being cramped for space like this because of these stupid cliffs. And I guess I could try to, like, I'm not even sure when I unlock cliff explosives. It's probably really, really late. It's pretty late. I don't even see it here. Um, okay, I don't think it's this late. It's somewhere here. Um, come on, okay, this is cliff explosives. That's actually only red and green, but you can see how much stuff I need to research before I get to that. And what it does is, well, I, I need explosives, and explosives take sulfur and water, so, I mean, water won't be hard, but sulfur means I will either need to get oil, like this, or I will need to get sulfur carbonate, which there's one here... I think there, I found a sulfur carbonate vein um, closer, yeah, yeah, right here, that's a bit closer. Um, it's also an oil vein right here, right below the biter base, so 
yeah, that's going to be interesting. There's also a couple of other ores that I have neglected to mention. There's, tit there's titanium ferret, which I'm guessing splits into... Um, even if I, I don't even need to go into T, I can just go here. You can see there's titanium ferret is half titan ore and t half iron ore. Actually, maybe I'm starting to see why it's called ferret. It's because um, the iron is Fe, and then there's also argentum ferret, and again I think Ag silver. So. I don't know why silver ore is black. It's almost blacker than coal, which makes no sense. But, I don't know. That's how the the guy that made the mod, Factorio++, designed it. So, yeah. Another thing I will need for military science is walls. So, that means I will need to uh, get stone. Because to get walls, I need stone bricks. And also, walls are very good for defense. At this point, I can still just clear the better bases manually. I'm also thinking of other researches I want to go for in the near future. One that's really useful, it's not far away, is um, the car. This is going to allow me to um, just go a lot faster. So what I'm going to first do is get the engine research, which will... Um, it does take steel, but I do have steel, so I should be good with engines. Um, the thing is, you need to craft engines in a crafting machine, so... Um, yeah, that does... That is a little bit disappointing. I will probably also want to start getting medium electric poles. Um, that, that is very useful, because this will allow me to get more steel. So, like, in, instead of this... Small electric pole, I can use medium electric pole. Um, like, for example, I can use it here. Uh, actually, no, I can use it. This is where I use it. I use it right here. And this actually is it's a bigger range. So that's why I kind of want to do that. Um, and I guess I can just get inserters here. And I can still use some small electric poles, but I will be using more medium electric poles as well so I can probably place another medium one I can I probably should put this in my hot bar um, because medium electric poles are very important um, and the same will be done on the other side here just do this do this place medium electric poles medium electric poles are they do take steel that is one thing about them. So that, that means they are quite a bit more expensive than small electric poles. I prefer using small electric poles when possible, but if if I have to use medium electric poles, it is fine. So now my steel production has drastically increased. And I don't think I don't know, that's kinda useful. Um but you can see just how much copper production and iron production has increased. Like you can see, now it's enough to almost fill... Like, this is now half capacity rather than quarter capacity. That reminds me. Yeah, power production. Way lower than... Um, than usual, just because of all the ore sorting that I'm doing. So, I think at this point, I want to... Um, get a few coal mining drills. Like this. Um... So this is kind of a weird format that I'm doing. It's in... Um, but anyway, I just do it like this. And... Uh, do I really need... Okay, I need to do it like this. Um, and this will allow me to... Just get more coal. I also will want to do this on the other side. Not It won't just be the right side. It'll be the left side as well. Uh, can I place one here? No, I can't. That's... Very disappointing, but I can't place one here. So I guess I can just do this, and then I can also place more on this side. Like I can put one here and put one here, and this will cover a large area. So this will allow me to. Um, okay, I'm not sure if it's really the coal that's the problem. It's probably just I don't have enough steam engines and boilers, which means I should make more boilers and steam engines. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make. 
let's see how much I want. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, uh, see how much do I have? I have three, so I'm, I'm gonna do, how about this, five, and I will need a lot of iron, unfortunately, and I'm always low on iron, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need ten steam engines, so here we go. So there's, I'm also going to want a few pipes. Um, I have enough iron to build enough pipes. So let's see, I now have my five boilers. I want to do it like this. And this will um, increase power by a, um, a multiple of eight thirds. I don't think that's enough. That's the problem. Yeah, even an eight thirds power increase is not going to be enough. That's how low my power is. But at least I can start placing some pipes down and some st more steam engines. Um, this is this is not perfect. I mean, the build's okay, but just, I'm going to need more than what I have here. Um, and also, I will, of course, need more small electric poles. I only have three left. I mean, of course, I could use the medium ones, but the small ones are much cheaper, so I'll take the small ones whenever I can. So there, there you go. That's still not enough. Well, actually, it's enough, but only barely enough. So right now, I have eight boilers and sixteen steam engines. I probably want to go all the way. I may want to just go all the way to twenty and forty, which is the max one pump can supply. But it looks like I got the engine, which means I will want to get logistics too. And this is something, the thing is with engine, you need a crafting machine or assembling machine to, um, to actually make them, but you don't really even need to automate the process. And I think before I really need engines for automated stuff, like I'm only going to just need a few engine units to make what I want here. So. What I'm going to do is just place one assembling machine right here, put some iron in it, put some steel in it, and I also need some pipes, which pipes is something I probably do want automated like sooner than sooner than later. So I'll just get this. I'll use a wooden chest full of iron plates. Um, I know this... This will be automated later on, but I'm lazy currently. Okay, it's not just that, but this is this supply of pipes and engine units will not be enough later on. That's where it comes from. So this will be pipes. This will be engine units. So I also will need iron gears. I can just I there's iron gears right here. It's not that hard. And steel is right here. So steel is something I do need for um, for the engine units. Um, but it's really not that hard of a logistical challenge. And let's see. Okay, another wooden chest. Um, I guess I could just place it right here. Um, that's where engine units can go. And just, yeah, steel... There is all my steel there, and here are all the iron gear wheels. So, I also will want a, another thing, a, another, you know, chest for pipes, because I will be using a lot, and I mean a lot, of pipes. So, that's why I will get that. Um, the thing is that I only need eight engine units to get a car. It's really not that hard to to get a car in this, in this game because car is actually pretty primitive compared to some of the other transportation methods we're going to see especially with the aircraft mod and the thing is I just need this research finished first okay so I'm back here again and I noticed that this belt is now full which is a decent accomplishment like you can see it's so full that this is actually, sometimes they're not even working because this belt is full, the output belt. So I probably want to build more of these in the future if I want to increase what I'm getting from my cut run ferret ore. 
This probably means I won't need to place any more mining drills in this location. And I'm getting a little bit close to the spider race, but there is some trees in the way. So I should be good for now. There's also this one. Um, there's also actually plenty of good ore veins down this way. Like There's there's the 4.2 million iron. There's also 1.7 million cut run ferret. A little bit of strash knight. 1.3 million gold. 733,000 iron. Time bit of carfitium. Bit of argentum ferret. Or, and yeah, there's there's so much here. I I really don't see a, a reason for getting some of these other ones. Carfitium, I think carfitium is some is the one that you can get plastic out of, right? Um, if if I just go far enough into the tech tree, I I know there's something that you can get plastic out of. I I did this last episode and it's also struggled to find it. I don't know why I always struggle to find this research. Here, it's carfitium processing. And you make it in a furnace. So, um, that'll be interesting. Um, or maybe it's actually, no, this is just one plastic waste. But the thing is that the carfitium gives you plastic waste. So, yeah, it's probably going to be another thing that you can use. Yeah, this is a sorting machine. And you can use the plastic waste and the steel waste to make plastic and steel. The plastic will be very useful because the nearest oil vein is very far away. Like, kind of, yeah, it, it's way farther away than you might expect. And I'm also looking for uranium, which is another vanilla, vanilla ore. I don't see any of it. So I don't think I'm going to use nuclear power because I don't see any uranium. I mean, maybe there's something out this way. You can see I'm discovering more and more the map and it looks like I'll discover what's down here. But you can already see here's like Lake Champlain. Um, it's gonna be interesting to expand southward. Like it looks like with this oil and a large cut run ferret vein that's a prime location to um, to expand out to. And there's a big barrier of trees down to the south. So um, yeah I don't want to skip the whole oil thing. I mean I'm I, there's still some advanced oil products that I still need. Um, like, I can't just use the sulfur carb. I, mean, I can use sulfur carbonate and the carfitium to bypass some of it, but there'll be some other oil products that I still need oil for. So, yeah, there's that. And there's not really much else. I mean, there's, there's a lot of stuff I can do, but I'm going to save this for future episodes. So... Yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.